Good morning. It's Mark Gordon on Tuesday, March the 20th, 2012, with a gold, silver, and spider report. Uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF. Uh, we're down about 0.6% uh, uh, today. Um, we are caught in this downward sloping channel here. Uh, uh, gold and the GLD are in a downtrend here uh, on this daily chart. And uh, you can see that we came down here and tapped this lower trend line uh, now three times and uh, rallied back up. Uh, we are trying to make our way back up here. Our first point of resistance will be a mild resistance here at this gray line, which is the 10-day moving average. And then uh, we come up here into some more formidable uh, overhead resistance at this black dotted line, which is the 200-day line, and also converging with this overhead uh, trend line here as well. We are below all the key trend lines, not a good sign. Um, you have the, uh, of course, the 200, uh, the green is the, is the uh, 100, the blue is the 50-day, and the red is the 21-day, which is uh, coming down pretty quickly uh, uh, to be expected after this uh, nice plunge that we had here. Uh, that's going to cross the 50, uh, bring a little bit more uh, bearishness into the market. Uh, one sign of bullishness is the fact that it has been, uh, the volume has been declining, uh, uh, you know, so it's suggesting that uh, we are finding some equilibrium down here uh, at around the 160 level here. Um, volume has has been light on the up days, which is not that encouraging. Um, like to see some heavier volume as we start to rally up. So um, <clears throat> we've gotten, uh, you know, we've got the overhead uh, resistance here peg. Let's uh, look at support. The, the next support would come in at the lower Bollinger Band down here, this gray area that you can see, uh, which is currently at um, 156.88, 156.88. That would be if we had the next leg down here. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. We'd also that also would coincide with this lower trend line here. And looking now at a weekly chart of the GLD, we can see that uh, this uh, ETF is in a downtrend on a weekly chart as well. Uh, we topped out here about mid-February at 174, had a big, big downside reversal here, and we're still following through to the downside. Uh, 158.80 is the last previous break low. Let's hope that holds. Um, if not, uh, we take a trip down here to this lower trend line here. The lower Bollinger Band on a weekly chart is at 152.55, 152.55. So in a downtrend, uh, not a time to be um, adding a new position to the long side in gold. Uh, never fight the trend. Uh, um, so the weekly trend down, the daily trend down, gold moving lower. Now our next important uh, uh, price point to the downside is the 148.27, of course. Um, that was in the previous wave down. That is the low point there. Um, so if it takes out that, then it will be in a serious downtrend here. But uh, so far, um, have uh, uh, rallied up, uh, giving back uh, approximately half of this move. That's to be expected, uh, even uh, point, uh, uh, six eight. 0.68% of that move is to be, uh, uh, you know, within the range of a pullback here. Um, let's hope this is just a normal pullback and we resume our uptrend. And moving on now to a daily chart of silver. This is the SLV, the silver ETF. And uh, we can see we're fighting a battle uh, here right around this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. And uh, you can see here that the blue line, the 50-day moving average, has provided some overhead resistance. As we've rallied up to it, we've gotten a pullback. Rallied up again, pulled back again, which we're doing now. Um, but we're caught in this zone uh, sort of around the 100-day moving average. So finding support down here. Volume is dropping off, uh, which is a good sign, kind of stalling in this area for the last uh, four or five sessions here. And um, we did get across uh, of the blue line the 50 above the 100. Uh, that's a nice uh, uh, moving average uh, uh, crossover uh, that traders look at. Uh, we are still down below this key 200-day moving average. We did rally above it in February and then uh, are going through a nice pullback here. Um, uh, but perhaps finding some equilibrium here, but we have had uh, <clears throat> a wave uh, down and then another wave down here and uh, perhaps uh, uh, we'll have another wave down. Sometimes they come in two or three waves here. Um, but um, our next point of overhead resistance, uh, of course, will be the 50-day moving average, which will be uh, right in line with this overhead trend line. The next support area would come in here at the Bollinger Band, this gray area here, which uh, currently is at 30.54, 30.54, and below that would be the lower trend line. 
and when we look at a weekly chart you can see the downtrend in silver um, don't like to uh, take on new positions when uh, the indexes are in downtrends here um, uh, so on a daily and weekly uh, uh, chart uh, uh, silver in a downtrend uh, same as uh, as the GLD in gold uh, you can see this double bottom uh, formation we have here uh, we put in a little handle here rallied up and now we're getting a pullback again um, could be construed as a handle it's a bit deep though uh, when you go uh, down about uh, I don't know six points here on 36 uh, that is about a um, about a 15 20 or 20 percent correction here so that's a bit steep for a handle um, but uh, let's see what happens here perhaps we form a new base um, that would be called a base on base pattern and we rally back up but you can see all the moving averages kind of converging in this area uh, and uh, uh, silver uh, kind of fighting a battle down here uh, kind of moving sideways here so let's hope that the 3073 area holds 3073 um, if not, we get support down here at this uh, lower trend line that I drew on this weekly chart. Moving on now to stocks, this is the SPY, the S&P 500 Exchange Traded Fund. Uh, this chart is looking great still. Um, unbelievable move here in the stocks. And uh, uh, since breaking out here in late uh, 2011, been rallying up ever since. Had a nice little pullback here. Uh, um, a couple weeks ago, uh, down here, tested the lower Bollinger Band, uh, moved through the 10-week and the 21 day, I'm sorry, the 10 day and the 21 day moving average lines. Uh, still staying well above all the key moving averages. Lots of strength here, riding this upper Bollinger Band up. Uh, today's pullback of about a half a percent is really nothing. Uh, uh, getting great support on this rally that we've been having. Uh, we never know how long these will go, but uh, stocks are looking much better than the metals here. And looking at a weekly chart, you can really see the breakout from this uh, triangle pattern here. And week after week after week, making uh, uh, new highs, new weekly highs here. Made another one this week here. Uh, so stocks rallying nicely. Uh, the time to invest and take new positions in stocks is when the indexes are rallying because three out of four stocks follow the major indexes. So this is the time to be uh, uh, getting into the leading stocks that are breaking out of well-formed bases and uh, have lots of volume on the breakout. And uh, that's what we do at Golden Ticker. So good luck trading, everybody. Thanks for listening.